So many movies show teleportation, right? It seems super convenient to be able to hop around like in the movie Jumper, but is that really possible? Actually, each movie has its own way of doing teleportation. Jumper doesn't use any scientific technology for teleportation. It's more about individuals having that ability, so let's skip over that. But in more hardcore sci-fi movies, how do they explain teleportation? There are plenty of movies featuring teleportation, and I picked out a few that use different theories to teleport. First off, what about Star Wars, the epitome of sci-fi? What technology do they use? In Star Wars, they use something called a hyperdrive to make a jump to hyperspace. During this process, special equipment is used to maintain the ship's mass and volume. If this equipment breaks, you cannot jump through hyperspace. Also, because there's a risk of colliding with real objects while in hyperspace, you need a navigation computer to calculate a safe route before making the jump. Now what about in Star Trek? In Star Trek, they use something called the Displacement Activated Spore Hub Drive, or simply put, the Spore Drive. This technology harnesses mycelium spores. The mycelial network is this huge thing spanning across galaxies, and the drives use spores to navigate through it. During these jumps, the ships aren't in regular space, they're in the mycelial plane. That's why they can leap around the galaxy in no time, like instant teleportation. Instead of manipulating space with only machines, they're tapping into the power of spores with some advanced biochemistry. How about the spaceship in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? The teleportation here works differently from the warp drives in Star Trek or Star Wars. In this movie, they use an infinite improbability drive that manipulates probabilities. Once the drive reaches infinite improbability, it passes through every conceivable point in every conceivable universe simultaneously. That means the spaceship can move without being constrained by time and space because it manipulates the probability of an object being there at that time. But there are side effects. These include temporary and sometimes permanent changes to the object, like the spaceship turning into a rubber duck. But that's not all. In Star Trek, they've got this device called a transporter that lets you move short distances in a flash. It works by scanning the target, breaking it down into an energy pattern, then beaming it to the target location or bringing it back to the transporter, where it's reassembled. Now, if we're talking about actually making this stuff, there are some issues. To recreate a person, you'd have to read all the info of every molecule in their body, but the uncertainty principle throws a wrench into that plan. Plus, there are like 10 to the power of 28 atoms in the human body, so storing and transmitting that info is basically sci-fi magic with our current tech level. That's why the transporter has something called a Heisenberg compensator to deal with the uncertainty principle. How it works exactly, no idea, but it supposedly solves the problem. So, teleportation might seem like something straight out of sci-fi, but some scientists are seriously studying it. For example, there's Dr. Furusawa in Japan and the research team at the Austrian Academy of Sciences, who've conducted experiments on teleportation using quantum entanglement. Their experiment results and papers have been published in some pretty prestigious scientific journals. Now, the experiment itself is pretty complex, but let me break it down for you real quick. First off, you gotta understand quantum entanglement. It's when two particles are linked, so if you change one particle's state, the other one changes instantly, no matter how far apart they are. So in this experiment, they use this entanglement to transfer information from one place to another. But here's the kicker. They're not physically moving matter, they're moving the information that matter carries. So this teleportation we're talking about here is more like moving information, not objects. In order to complete teleportation, the other side receives information and needs to rebuild the object. It's like copy and paste or cut and paste stuff on your computer. And that brings up a big question. Are you really the same person if you're just moving information around and reconstructing it? It's raising some serious philosophical and ethical questions, but there's still a long way to go with this tech, so we may have time to think. This tech is also crucial for the whole quantum computing hype these days. Once quantum computing becomes mainstream, the possibilities will be endless. If anyone's interested in learning more about quantum computing, drop a comment. I'll whip up a quick and easy video to explain it.